Welcome back to another April fishing report here at Bud and Mary's in Amarada. And uh, we got some good action this week. Right now we got Charlie with our friends Andrew and his buddies on the Catch-22 and they've got the camera. So after this little intro, we're gonna take you on the Catch-22 and show you what they caught today and you know how that charter went on the reef. And who knows, it might be going offshore a little bit. It's springtime, conditions are changing. So it's that time of year where there's a little bit of everything and every day is different. But I also wanna talk about a big swordfish the broad minded caught the other day, Captain Mike. They had a 296 pound swordfish with their customers and sword fishing is not for everyone. It can be very boring. You're out there fishing for a bite or two all day long, drifting in the middle of the Gulf Stream in 1500 feet of water with one or two rods down deep. A lot of these boats do target them. You know, the buzz on had a Mako shark the other day. No swords, but the Mako was a bonus catch and that was Captain Aaron's, I think first ever Mako. He says that was cool, it was a long fin and uh, a neat fish to see. But I'm gonna take you back to the dock right now when the guys in the broad mine and their charter came in with that 296 pounder. Watch the bill when you're going. Let me. Good job, guys. <laughs> All right, hold on. Just get them on that first step right there. A little bit. Yeah. Here, hold on. Okay. Watch the gap. Get it underneath. Yeah. Okay. Now stop. Stop. Okay. Might want to do something. Uh, do whatever. You Yeah. Uh, oh, now you've got what? Yeah, you got 296. Uncle Mike on the broad minded got a nice one. 297. It's a good one. 87 incher. Hope you enjoyed seeing the big swordfish clips. And if that interests you, give the Marine office a call and they can get you set up to try your luck. Remember, it's like big game hunting. You're fishing for a bite or two. You don't always get them, but you never know when that big one's gonna bite. Now let's go back to the catch 22 with Charlie, Captain Scott, First Mate AJ, Andrew, and all of his buddies. Saw a lizard fish in there. Catch 22. All day the magic happens. It's a fish in the boat. Smaller. Oh. 
these mahi mahi out here and the catch 22 crew getting it done what a beautiful tuesday doesn't get any better than that down here in the florida keys talking about Andrew. Woo! That's the fish. That's the fish of the day right there. <laughs> Uncle Scott, Yo. today you're a hero, my man. Nick showed me how to do that. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> day so far. Uh, can't complain. Great customers, great fishing, found in birds out there. Awesome day, fun day. Good to get dinner. Hi, uh, yeah, today was an awesome day. We uh, decided after we caught bait, we were going to head offshore and catch some tuna fish. And on the way there, we found some birds working and caught a couple of mahi and hey, it felt good. It just is like mahi in April. Seems a little early and then we made it to the hunt, we caught our tuna fish and headed back in and lo and behold there was birds. Hit a school, we caught a few and then we got into the bigger ones and that was a blast, it was good to see. We just got a few more mounts back from gray fish mounts and we just had them repainted. They've been outside for over four years and it was time to get them redone but we got a nice swordfish, a big snowy grouper and a queen snapper done and their fiberglass replicas. If you guys go fishing here on any of these boats, ask the captain if you catch a fish that you want to get mounted. Grays has mounts for almost every species that swims, and you don't even have to keep the fish. You can release it. You know, if it's a big tarpon, a sailfish, a permit, or whatever, you can let it go and you can get a replica mount made that way. And right when we talked about Mike's swordfish the other day, he came in again yesterday with another big swordfish, a 250 pounder. They had a couple of barrel fish and also a couple of nice blackfin tunas. And it's nice to hear some of these bigger tunas showing up, you know, those 15 to 25 pounders. Uh, he caught those on the hump on the way home and they lost a few to sharks and they caught a couple. So that was good, but uh, that's gonna wrap up this report. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Come on down here to Bud and Mary's in Amrata, check it out. You can stay right here on the property, hotel rooms, a couple houses, house boats, a few different options. And go inshore, go offshore, do both. Go on the head boat, the Miss Amrata. Hopefully we'll see you down here soon.